Hey everybody, Austin here coming to you from uh, my office in our house, uh, Southern Arizona here in Sarita, Arizona, and I uh, wanted to give you the 2012 March Worship Catalyst update, and as always, just come to you and give you a few glimpses into the work that you are making possible through your prayers and through the gifts that you give. And uh, you know, God is doing a lot of great things, and we just wanted to give you a few of those highlights. It's been a few weeks since we've uh, had an update, and so we have way more things to talk about than we can possibly fit in. So let us just give you some of the, some of the highlights, okay? Uh, the first thing is I want to ask you from the very beginning here to pray, because Tommy Russell, many of you know him, he was youth pastor at Copperfield Church in Houston for several years. He moved out a year ago, almost a year ago, to Tucson to plant a church in a town called Marana, Arizona, just north of Tucson. And the church is called Vintage, and they will have their first service uh, their first preview service on Easter Sunday, April the 8th. We, of course, are providing musicians and trying to uh, build a band and teams for him to make all that work, but uh, we want to ask you to pray that that church would reach the people of Marana, Arizona, and that we would um, be able to build the teams that we need to to help Tommy and, and those guys get successful at what they do. So uh, be in prayer about that. Another thing I wanted to highlight was uh, our work in Dallas, Texas. Some of you know that we are uh, setting up a hub in Dallas, Texas, through a couple named Abel and Karen Vasquez. And I just wanted you to get a chance to meet them. Cammie and I were out there uh, just a few weeks ago and uh, got a chance to sit down and interview them. So watch this. Hey everybody, uh, Austin here coming to you from Dallas, Texas. And uh, it's the first time you'll ever see a video with me being taller than the people I'm interviewing. <laughs> well, <laughs> but not darker. <laughs> but not darker. <laughs> I wanted you to meet some uh, people, some new friends of ours over the last six or nine months. This is Abel and Karen Vasquez, and they live here in Dallas. They lead worship for a church called The Heights in Spanish, and uh, this is a cool new partnership. I wanted you to be able to meet um, Abel and Karen because we're actually starting a hub here in Dallas, Texas through uh, their ministry that they already have going on. And so, um, you know, there's a lot to know about you guys, but we're going to keep this video ultra short. So why don't you just talk to us about... Um, first of all, who are your kids, Karen, and what are they, how old are they? We have Nate. He is 16, sophomore in high school. Chase is 13 in 8th grade, and Caleb is 12 in 7th grade. And the cool thing about their family is like, they're so musical. They're like playing every instrument in the book, and I'm telling them they should just record a CD, get a bus, and go on the road, and you know, they'd be okay. We'll but buy spring break. <laughs> <laughs> might as well. But one, uh, maybe one other thing just to ask you, I know that Abel, we've connected, and we've connected on uh, this ministry front that we're going to do, and all three of us. So what is it that really has drawn you into want to be a part of uh, helping other churches in the ministry of what we're doing? Man, I tell you what, we've, this is what we've done uh, for the last three and a half years, four years now, and uh, we're already doing it. And when Austin, I was going to call you Ryan, yeah, uh, Austin, Ryan, yeah. yeah. So when you approached us, we heard about uh, Worship Catalyst. We're like, man, this is, this is what we're doing, and we just need somebody to help us, uh, just direct us and guide us. And, man, we're just pumped about uh, being able to help. Yeah. So. One thing that's going to be cool is that not only helping church plants that are um, Anglo in nature, I guess it's okay to say that, but really also some Spanish-speaking new churches would be really cool. So how do you say Worship Catalyst in Espanol? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, Catalyst de Adoración. I don't know. <laughs> Catali Catalisto. Is, I think that's actually, I looked it up one time. Really? Yeah, I but I don't remember. You're smarter than I am. Whatever. All right. So anyway, we want you to please be praying for Abel and Karen as we really go through this process of getting things started in Dallas uh, through them. And um, anyway, we just love you guys already and uh, thankful for the ministry that we're going to share. So God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Um, one of the things that we get to do is we get to partner with the Arizona Southern Baptist Convention. And there's lots of ways throughout the year that we partner together with them in ministry. And uh, one of those is that we do uh, regional seminars for worship leaders and other creative artists uh, and uh, help them with developing worship teams for their church and help them to understand a little bit more about uh, what worship could look like as they transition their churches into different ways. And so um, recently uh, we got to do one of these in Snowflake, Arizona, kind of a weird name for a town, but we were up in Snowflake and had 60 uh, leaders from their churches. Uh, there to learn more about worship and how to, to get their teams and their churches up to a higher level in helping people connect with Jesus. And so um, you'll see a little bit there. My dad's uh, doing some teaching and Mike uh, Michalczyk also we took on that. And we've got another one of those coming up 
uh, here on the uh, 31st of March, just this weekend. And we're going to be there with uh, Cami will be doing some drama teaching. Mike will be there. My dad will be there. And we'll get a chance to do that with 60 more people, this time in kind of uh, western, northwestern uh, Arizona in a town called Wickenburg. So be in prayer about that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is another way that we partner with the Arizona uh, Southern Baptists. And um, they have evangelistic efforts, the partnership evangelism efforts that they make in various places uh, in and around North America. And uh, you know that last year uh, we got a chance to go and serve and minister in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. And this year we agreed to go to two different trips to, wait for it, a really hard ministry place, the island of Maui in Hawaii. And what you're looking at here is me uh, connecting with uh, a church there that we got to serve, and then we got to serve the entire uh, Baptist convention there on the island of Maui and really train them and help them in their leadership development, in their evangelistic development, and in their worship development. So you see Cammie and I up there leading worship for this conference, and uh, it was just a, a really great uh, time. We're going to be going back for our second and final trip uh, at the end of May, beginning of June, to lead a youth camp there. We'll be taking a team out from Arizona of about 20 people to go on a mission trip and do a youth camp. Uh, on Maui. So uh, there you get to see a little bit about what's going on. So anyway, just wanted to, as always, say to you guys, we love you so much, Cammie and I do, and all the team here, the Michalzics and everybody else that's with us, the Becks. And uh, we, we love you, and we thank God for you. And you know that everything that goes on, goes on because you guys are faithful to God for what He calls you to do to be a part of it. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon. God bless.